हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड जनरली स्टूडेंट्स हैव कन्फ्यूजन अबाउट डेफिशिएंसी सिम्टम्स बिटवीन नाइट्रोजन सल्फर एंड मैग्नीशियम बिकॉज दीज थ्री न्यूट्रिएंट्स हैव क्लोरोसिस येलोइंग ऑफ लिप्स सो वेन एवर देर इज अ डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ नाइट्रोजन और सल्फर और मैग्नीशियम देर इज क्लोरोसिस लॉस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल एंड येलोइंग ऑफ लिप्स so there is a confusion in deficiency of these nutrients so how to identify the deficiency symptoms between nitrogen sulfur and magnesium so if we know the some uh, key points then we can easily identify the deficiency symptoms of these three nutrients so nitrogen nitrogen magnesium and sulfur all these three uh, nutrient deficiency causes the chlorosis chlorosis means loss of chlorophyll so this is the common that chlorosis occur and loss of chlorophyll it means loss of green color it means loss of green color it means uh, loss of green color then leaves become yellow so yellowness develop or leaves become yellow due to chlorosis so this is the common ness among these three nitrogen magnesium and sulfur but what is the key point difference in these nutrients so we talk about the plant uh plant and this is a new leaves this is the middle leaves and these are the suppose older leaves okay and suppose there is a nitrogen deficiency so nitrogen and magnesium deficiency first occur on older leaves so these are the older leaves and sulfur deficiency occur on younger leaves so initially if deficiency starts from the younger leaves then it is due to sulfur deficiency if chlorosis means loss of a uh, green color means yellowness is start from older leaves then it is due to either nitrogen or magnesium the reason is that nitrogen and magnesium are mobile in the plant whenever there is a deficiency of nitrogen for example then this newly growing points uh, or leaves will require more nitrogen and nitrogen is mobile that's why whatever nitrogen is present is translocated to upper younger leaves to fulfill their requirement so now this portion or this area become sufficient in nitrogen but nitrogen is translocated from this area or this leaves so it become deficient deficient so nitrogen deficiency occurs on older leaves similar is the case with the magnesium magnesium is also mobile so whenever there is a deficiency of magnesium and newly emerging leaves newly developed leaves require more nutrient more amount of magnesium and then magnesium is translocated from older to younger leaves so deficiency occur on older leaves but sulfur is not mobile in plant it is less mobile uh, in plant so whenever there is a deficiency of sulfur on this point uh, sorry there is a requirement of sulfur on newly developed leaves they will require more sulfur from this older leaves but here sulfur is immobile, immobile not mobile so sulfur remain on older leaves it is not translocated to younger leaves so that's why younger leaves show deficiency symptoms of sulfur so this is the reason why their sulfur deficiency is on younger leaves and on older leaves so on older leaves deficiency occur of those nutrient which are mobile in plant and on younger leaves occur those nutrient which are less mobile so sulfur is less mobile so that's why deficiency occur on younger leaves now initially uh, the chlorosis is there so how to identify that it is due to sulfur or nitrogen or magnesium so simple uh, way is that if there is a nitrogen deficiency for example so initially plant become pale green pale green means uh, the color green color become fade and there is no uh, green color so greenness is lost so pale green color is there and older leaves 
and here so older leaves show more yellowness so whole plant is pale green so in case of nitrogen deficiency whole plant become fade in color so green color is light light green color and older leaves so these are suppose older leaves and these are the veins these are veins then yellowness is start yellowness is start from this area yellowness is start from the margin sorry tip from the tip so yellowness is start from the tip and proceed towards the base so this is a v shaped v shaped characteristic yellowing on older leaves so this is the feature of nitrogen deficiency so this is nitrogen deficiency in older leaves so the whole portion become first light green color then it become yellow so this is the way how the nitrogen deficiency is there if there is continuous nitrogen deficiency then whole plant become pale yellow so this is the nitrogen deficiency and if further deficiency is there then this this uh, part become dry so now drying is there so old leaves become drying so this old leaves the necros is there and total leaves become dry leaves lower leaves become dry so dry leaves are there in case of nitrogen deficiency if deficiency is continue so initially in older leaves yellowness start from the tip then it cover the whole leaf then if there is continuous then whole plant become pale yellow and then the older leaves become dry and the brown dry and brown leaves and the whole plant is short and whole plant all the leaves show yellowness so this is the nitrogen deficiency in case of magnesium deficiency so this is the so leaves older leaf it is also in older leaves and these are the veins these are the veins and in case of magnesium so this is the magnesium in case of magnesium deficiency is start from the middle portion from this portion deficiency start from the middle portion and it proceed to and it proceed to the base so in case of nitrogen deficiency start from the tip but in case of magnesium it is start from the middle portion and the veins remain green veins remain green so this is the green veins so this is the characteristic feature that veins are green and the remaining portion is yellow so that's why magnesium deficiency show intervenal chlorosis intervenal chlorosis intervenal means the between the vein so the yellowness is between the vein so these are the vein these are the veins so yellowness is here between the veins so veins remain green so this is the key point difference between nitrogen deficiency and magnesium deficiency first in case of nitrogen deficiency start from the tip while in case of magnesium deficiency start from the middle portion number 2 in case of this nitrogen deficiency whole leaves become yellow including all the veins so it become yellow but in case of magnesium veins remain green and the portion between the veins is green so intervenal chlorosis is there so both the deficiency occur on older leaves so this is the common feature but the difference is that in case of magnesium intervenal chlorosis is there and in case of nitrogen whole leaf chlorosis is there and leaves become dry and the brown but in case of magnesium veins remain green so this is the difference in nitrogen and magnesium deficiency now uh, sulfur deficiency so in case of uh, sulfur the deficiency is start from the upper leaves younger leaves and the lower leaves remain as such so this is the younger leaves and this is the older leaves so these are the veins 
सो इन केस ऑफ सल्फर डिफिशेंसी इन केस ऑफ सल्फर डेफिशियंसी नाउ द दिस येलो दिस यंगर लीव्स बिकम येलो येलो एंड इट रिमेन्स ग्रीन सो लोअर लीव्स रिमेन ग्रीन एंड इट बिकम्स फर्स्ट पेल ग्रीन मीन्स लाइट ग्रीन देन पेल येलो देन इट बिकम येलो सो ओके सो यंगर लीव्स यंगर लीव्स फर्स्ट इट बिकम पेल ग्रीन देन पेल येलो मीन्स लाइट येलो लॉस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल देन इट बिकम क्लोरोसिस येलो लॉस ऑफ क्लोरोफिल सो क्लोरोसिस कंप्लीट क्लोरोसिस इज देयर वाइल दिस ओल्डर लीव्स ओल्डर लीव्स रिमेन ओल्डर लीव्स रिमेन ग्रीन बट इफ सल्फर डेफिशंसी इज कंटिन्यू देन होल प्लांट इज अफेक्टेड देन इट बिकम पेल ग्रीन but there is no necrosis leaves is not dry while in case of here no necrosis no necrosis no dryness no dry no dry leaves while in case of natural deficiency this lower leaves become dry in case of advanced deficiency uh, is uh, if there is uh, deficiency is continuous so this is the difference between sulfur and nitrogen it is very clear that uh, sulfur start from the upper leaves while nitrogen start from the lower leaves and in case of nitrogen start from the tip and v type chlorosis is there but there is no v type shape is there and in case of sulfur lower leaves remain green but in acute deficiency under advanced deficiency it become pale green but there is no necrosis no dryness while in case of nitrogen if nitrogen deficiency is continuous then this leaf become dry so old leaves become dry and the whole plant become pale yellow so in case of this uh, sulfur deficiency whole plant may be yellow pale uh, pale yellow but older leaves is not dry but in case of nitrogen older leaves is dry so this is the key point difference between sulfur and nitrogen and in case of nitrogen magnesium intravenal necrosis in case of magnesium leaves remain green and no uh, dryness so this is the difference between nitrogen sulfur and magnesium deficiency so commonness is that chlorosis is occur in all these three nutrient deficiency and magnesium nitrogen deficiency is on older leaves while in case of sulfur it is on younger leaves and in case of sulfur and nitrogen the key point difference is there the in case of sulfur younger leaves while in case of nitrogen older leaves and if there is deficiency advanced then in case of sulfur there is no necrosis and older leaves become pale green or pale yellow while in case of nitrogen deficiency acute deficiency there is continuous deficiency then this old leaves become dry so this is the key difference uh, point difference in nitrogen sulfur and magnesium deficiency thank you very much